Hi, welcome to this video. We have now Arch Merge 6.3.1. And the topic of the video is what changed. So we have 6.2.1. Do we need to upgrade? Do we need to reinstall? What's going on? What's new? We have this article on uh, the website, which is archmerged.info. There is always this very important link. And you can also navigate to this uh, same link if you go inside here, Arch Merch, and you follow this link here, you'll get in the same page. So, um, what can you look, what can you find on that page? You find, first of all, all the most asked questions. So, take a look at them first, because you'll ask them on the forum, on Google+, on Facebook. So, first check here. Then the need to know things that uh, you need to know is that fonts are copyrighted and they're not on the ISO. So you have to fix those yourself. And there is an, uh, an Arch Merge Nemesis script to, or, or a customization that's available. So find it on our websites, archmerge.com, archmerge.info, uh, and look for Nemesis. There is a lot of information, you can go over all that. And then this tutorial is about this here, Arch Merge 6.3.1 Kirk. Or you listen to the video or you read the text, it's up to you. We're going over uh, the elements that we've changed. So when we press Ctrl Alt T and we go for sudo pattern minus S, like something like that, that's the first thing we'll probably do. And you'll see that things will be installed and there is an arch merge linux repo fine um, there is a 100 percent uh, rolling release today in 6.3.1 it was actually already in 6.2 but we discovered that there is one file which was called conkizen.desktop which was not in the desktop thanks to our arch merged cinnamon we discovered that so we're now at, as it were, 100% rolling. What does it mean? It means that in if we do something like that, arch merge, and then tap a few times on the uh, tap button, then you see here all the packages that will provide you the updates. So all these elements will provide updates in files and folders and themes and so on. So that's something to look out for, anything that's called arch merge. Now there are two main things that are important for you. There are elements that are uh, updated like themes and they go in user, share and then some folder. But there are also elements that go to the ETC. And what's that? So if you get an update in and you press Ctrl H, this one and that one are your personal settings. So config and local are your personal settings. I will not write in there. I should not and I will not write in there because these are your personal settings. If I want to update, for instance, let's take a look. If you want to update something called OB menu generator, so if you're using open box, then you're gonna need this one and that one. If we're gonna use i3, you're gonna need this one and so on. So elements that are in here will not be updated in here. Where will they be? we getting their update in etc scale so this directory scale let's type it again is important so i'll normally i'll move it up here so this is exactly what you have now after a clean install it's going to be exactly the same thing but then a month later we update open box we update an i3 and we'll update it here and here and here Things will be updated in the ETC scale. Then it's up to you, and we've uh, made tutorials about that, to check out if you want to update. You never use i3, so whatever. Let it be, and let it stand there in ETC scale. But if you want this i3, then actually you should copy paste it over to your proper directory, your home directory. But maybe you're copying over code of yourself. Of, of, you don't want to copy over uh, elements that you've worked hard for so best thing maybe is to go for a melt say okay I want to have a copy of this one so this is your work and this one 
we'll delete this one and we'll get the new one in this is the new one arch merge and we go back to your home directory this is yours this is mine and take these two and compare it did anything change of course I did not change anything so the folders have no differences so okay so I can get rid of this one so that's how we do anything that's changed in here that anything that's personal in your home directory .config.local will not be overwritten will be saved to etc scan up to you to decide whether you want to fetch it or not okay so that's that we're now fully 100% rolling and um, we're going to be including more and more elements and what are these elements if you are already a bit advanced in Linux you could try out our pacman.conf and in here you'll find that we've added also an arch merge Linux repo testing meaning there's no tutorial on it there's no article on it there's nothing on it but you can see what packages are currently under testing so beta testing alpha testing things that are not working properly yet and not going to be included in the ISO but can they be already be tested if you feel up to it or if you're feeling lucky so what you do now is say let's have a look and see what's in there as you see we have here now the repo testing with it I'm not going to update as of yet but I am going to see what is in the repo of testing there's just one thing in there that's the polybar we're experimenting with a new forge panel in i3 which is called the polybar you can also use it in open box but there I find it a little bit more difficult to use better for i3 anyway that's what we're working on so it's in the testing it's not ready to be released yet it's there that's something we've done as well so we created a repo for testing what else we've uh, added atom I've been working so many hours on atom with this polybar uh, that we want to create it has lots of great um, extensions you can put uh, add to it which are called pigment and minimap and all that I've written articles about that as well so I thought I'm going to include it because I'm going to use it. I'm using it always and if people are going to use Polybar, they'll be happy to have it around. So Atom is installed. We've installed also SnapD. SnapD is an application to have um, to install applications that will run on any uh, Linux system. You will see it will evolve in the future and we're going to experiment with it. I will see how it goes and it's there okay we have awesome terminal fonts which are going to be useful for our system when we have polybar then we have the Vivaldi codex FF MPEG extra bin if we've uh, deleted the other one which is just called Vivaldi FF MPEG codex so um, that's a good thing we have uh, YouTube uh, possibilities on Vivaldi Cheetop has been added, it's a nice little look about that. We yeah, didn't show you Atom, so Atom, if you've never seen that before, it's gonna look like this. And then we've added also Time Shift, that's another one that we've added. So show welcome, we don't want to show welcome anymore. Yes, you want to help improve, the welcome guide is not needed. And there you go, you have Atom. It's an editor. Time shift is installed. System restore utility. It wants to know my password for root. And what you'll do is uh, get an external hard drive, put it in, and go and sync everything to uh, the external hard drive. That's what you need to do. Uh, let's show that. We'll make a separate tutorial for that one. We've seen that we could uh, eliminate XFCE Slimlock, so we've eliminated some of the packages and that's one of them Pakauer is another one that we've eliminated has been stopped and variety has changed the wallpaper and we have added or we've changed the variety configuration file 
which is now going to keep this wallpaper, for instance, if we log off and we log on back in another one, it's going to keep the wallpaper, and that was one of the issues reported on the GitHub. So that's working just fine now. And that's uh, and whatever um, whatever we take here, if we go back to i3, log out, like so, you'll see it's still our little design here. This one. So that works fine. What else did we change? We have an XFC 4 15 arch merge slim locks. So if we press super L, I'm afraid we don't see anything here. Um, pop, pop, pop. Let's see if we can do it in virtual machine. I don't think so. Let's try and log out in here. Go back to open box for instance. See if we can activate it in here. Yes, okay. So that's one of the themes. So we have the slim lock themes and that's um, 15 of them. That's just one of them. So that's okay. And then we have also, if we press super X, we have one look, which is the gray look, the standard look, but we have 15, uh, not 15, excuse me, how many do we have? Open box, we have 11 arch merge open box logout team. So, except besides this one, we have 10 more. So that's also changed, that's new. And then in i3wm, we just saw it quickly, we're working on this polybar. That's the fourth way to change, and that's about it. So that's one month of work, and uh, that's an overview of what we've achieved in one month. So, um, well, hope we, you, you like what we've done, and um, well, have fun using Arch Merged. Merch, of course. <laughs>